Welcome back, housemates. My name is Ella, and siempre may radio. Hi housemates, my name is Ella and welcome to Succulent House. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Please do hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, maraming maraming salamat sa pagbalik. Thank you for being here again and for watching today's video. So, Today, we are going to do another episode of Succulent Rescue. So, we are going to talk about a rescuing. Um, today, we're going to rescue a stapiliad. I forgot the specific name of this stapiliad, but I'm going to show you later. If you are new here and you haven't seen all of the Succulent Rescues episode, please do click this link. Uh, I will post it on the comment section down below and you will see a lot of uh, succulent rescues that I've done before. So today we're going to talk about mealybugs. I've discussed this a f while back, a few years ago, and I've shown you a way on how to do that. Please do check the link down below so that you can check out this video. But um, today we are going to save this particular um stapilia that is badly severely as in sobrang infested ng mealybugs if you didn't know i've been away for two weeks and before my uncle passed away i've already treated this with an alcohol uh this is the alcohol that i used it's 70 percent isoprofil alcohol um, that comes in a sprayer and I've treated this numerous times already, so that means I my effective of just spraying this with uh, an alcohol is not effective. So I've been missing in action for two weeks, and when I came back, I was so scared and at the same time surprised at how bad the infestation is, which I'm going to show you earlier, but just a preview this is just one of them i don't know if you can see well that's one milli bug if you turn it around there's a lot more so grab your coffee put on your headphones and let's do some serious rescuing see this this stapilid is badly severely infected with mealybugs so there's mealybugs all over i sprayed it with an alcohol it didn't work um the mealybugs kept coming back so if you are new and you haven't watched that video mealybugs uh, are you can easily kill mealybugs with an alcohol just spray them um the infected area wait let me show you how you do that so this is one of them it just broke off a few minutes before we started so if you notice this is severely infested so all you need to do is just spray the 
spray the plant with 70% alcohol and immediately the mealybugs should die. So what I normally do is I I don't have a cotton ball, a uh, cotton bud, so I'll use just cotton and then after spraying usually I wipe it with a uh, cotton bud. So um if you do this, it should the the mealy bug should stay in the cotton. Yeah. So if you know, I don't know if you can see, but there's that tiny dot right there is actually a mealy bug. Um, let's get more. There's one more, and then another one. Madali na siyang dumikit sa cotton kapag ka na-spray na siya ng, ng alcohol. But, as I mentioned, I sprayed this plant with a lot of alcohol. I made sure I saturated all of them with, um, kaya nga naubos yung alcohol ko. But, I made sure that I saturated all of them two weeks ago. Pero, bumalik pa rin yung mealybugs. So, that's why I'm wearing my eyeglass because I needed to see. Um, so, I've taken off all of the mealybugs. And then, just to make sure, I'll spray them again. So, we'll set them aside. Um, you can try this if the infestation isn't as bad. But since this is really, really, really severely infestated, um, we will try. Let me just move the camera over. This time around, we will try killing the mealybugs with hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide, you can easily find this in the supermarkets I, and drugstores. So I bought this in City Mall, sa Save More, less than 100 pesos. Um, it's an antiseptic disinfectant, and if you're a mom, you have to have this inside your house for the kids, of course, kapag nasusugatan, and there's a lot of benefits that you can find on YouTube why you should buy and keep a hydrogen peroxide in your house. So, all you need to do to save this is, first, what we will do is, um, disinfect the soil. I'm not going to change the soil, but what I'll try is that we have to disinfect um, the soil that's in it so that we will kill if there are any mealybugs na nandun sa soil mismo or any pests na nasa soil mismo. This is a hanging pot, by the way. I hang this in sa greenhouse. So, at least lahat ng nandun mismo sa soil, it will be killed by hydrogen peroxide. And then you also need, sorry kung medyo madumi, um, a sprayer. And of course, water. And a um, measuring cup. This is a one cup. Um, because you need at least perhaps half a cup of water and then half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. So, are you ready? Let's do this. So, I filled this with half a cup of water. Now, it's time for us to pour out the half cup hydrogen peroxide agua oxinada. Ito na yung solution natin. This is the water with hydrogen peroxide. Um, so, first off, what we will do is that we will water this um, sa soil mismo to kill off all of the mealybugs na nandun mismo. And of course, yung magiging in contact dun sa um, doon sa, what do you call this? hydrogen peroxide solution na ginawa natin 
will also automatically be killed. So that's one. If you notice, may natira pa. Um, it doesn't have any drainage hole, this one. Kaya, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it has bubbles. It is bubbling, which is a good sign. There. That the hydrogen peroxide solution is working. So, let's just leave it for a few minutes. But while we're waiting, we will do our um, spray solution. Pala guys, when you when you have watered your soil with hydrogen peroxide solution, aalsa yung yung lupa. So the soil will rise up a little bit um, because the hydrogen solution is getting inside the soil and it's actually disinfecting and sterilizing the soil. Um, kahit walang drainage hole tung hanging pot ko because it's a copper it's a copper pot. Um, it has holes on the sides. So, what I'm doing is I'm actually tilting it up para yung excess solution ng hydrogen peroxide eh lumabas. At hindi siya ma-overwater. Okay. Okay. So, while we're allowing the solution to work its way, work its magic, uh, sa soil. Let me just dry it off. Okay. There. I added water in this and then I added more hydrogen peroxide. Um, now, we will put this in here and use it as a sprayer. notice guys, hindi ko inubos yung solution. Kasi gagamitin ko siya mamaya para dun sa uh, add-in na uh, um, cotton. Yeah. So, now it's working. Let's go ahead and spray off the millibugs.
Guys, what what I'm doing is I kasi sobrang dami talaga ng mealy bugs as in kadiri tingnan. Um, hindi yata kaya ng hydrogen peroxide lang. So, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it off from the um, individual stapiliad itself para mamatay siya. As you can see, tumidikit naman siya sa cotton buds. Ay, sa cotton balls pala. So, I'll first um, basahin ko siya ng solution. And then, hydrogen peroxide. I don't know if you can see it, but... You can actually still hear, I can still hear the sizzling sound from the hydrogen peroxide solution. But as you can see how bad it is. I'm following it up with um, isopropyl alcohol para matunaw yung um, just to double kill everything.
you guys na busisiin nyo talaga yung yung each and every especially kung stapiliad kasi marami tong um, this is a mother plant so nandito na lahat ng babies um, and mealy bugs pwede siyang magtago dito sa ilalim ng plant um, like I said they can survive and they can come they, medyo makukulit tong mga mealy bugs na to and they can keep coming back um, to their favorite plant um, kapag hindi nyo na, naubos lahat so naubusan ako ng hydrogen peroxide solution pero meron naman akong isopropyl alcohol so I'm hoping na um, yung na miss out ng hydrogen peroxide napapatay na nitong um, isopropyl alcohol so siguro the last time I did it may na miss ako na mga mealy bugs, baby bugs na hindi ko napatay I know some of you would throw it away um, but bago kasi ako magtapon ng halaman um, na make sure ko muna na I try to save it kasi of course sayang din naman yung money and yung um, other than the money the time like what I said this is a mother plant um, now I will let the isopropyl alcohol do its job as well as the hydrogen peroxide may natira pa akong hydrogen peroxide solution so papaliguan ko na lang yung mga natitira pang okay. then I'll use an old toothbrush I'll wash it first hydrogen peroxide and spray with isopropyl alcohol and then brush it off guys nagbabubble siya kapag brainwash mo yung yung hydrogen peroxide um, I'm using a kid's toothbrush para soft. Otherwise, um, pag hindi kid's toothbrush yung ginamit ninyo, mapuputol yung mga um, spikes, soft spikes na meron yung yung stapilyad. So, this way, if you notice, I'm doing this dito sa um, kitchen namin instead na doon sa greenhouse kasi I don't want the other the other plants to be contaminated ng mealy bug. So, at least dito sa kitchen, I can clean the kitchen afterwards. Kasi itong mealy bugs, magtatalsikan to guys. Just like scales, kapag brinash off mo sila. And they can transfer to another
makikita nyo naman agad yung mealybugs kapag nawala na yung parang white, uh, parang cotton-like uh, covering nila. Kasi they're light brown in color. Yun nga, nakalimutan ko yung mic. But, uh, makikita nyo naman guys, alagad yung mealybugs. Kasi, pag nawala na yung parang cloud or cottony covering nila, they're light brown in color. And sa green, magsa-stand out siya talaga. So, to be safe, i-brush nyo na lang talaga yung bawat, um, what do you call this? Bawat tapilyad ninyo, if you have experienced the same thing. I just want to show you something. May buhay pang mealybugs. I don't know where it came from. Pero, yun nga. Like, what I told you. Kailangan busisiin nyo talaga isa-isa. So, let me show you a moving mealybug. So we are almost done. Yung mga natatanggal na stapilyads like this one, tinatanggal ko na lang for propagation. Just in case hindi mag-survive itong mommy plant ko, at least I would have um, a few more to propagate.
one final spray of alcohol So, ayan na guys, um, nabusisi ko na siya. Um, the white things here are actually perlite. So, hindi siya, hindi siya mealy bugs. Pero, just to make sure, I will still spray this with alcohol kung sakasakaling may buhay pa rin na umaaligid na mealy bugs sa area. Next is that, ito yung mga babies na nakuha ko. Or, naputol siya when I was cleaning. So, na-clean ko na yan siya ng, ng water. Uh, ng hydrogen peroxide. Na-spray ko na siya. Pero, what I'll do is that I'll immerse them here sa water. Then, I will add uh, hydrogen peroxide solution. So, guys, bakit nilalagyan ng water? Para hindi naman masyadong matapang. Kasi, pwedeng masunog yung plants nyo with hydrogen peroxide. So, yan. And then, I will also spray them with alcohol, just in case. So, naubos yata yung isang buong hydrogen peroxide sa episode na to. But as you can see, may mga nagfo-float na white um like, where is that? But they're floating somewhere there. But I think like this one, that's a mealy bug floating there. Um, so I will just let it sit for perhaps 30 seconds to a minute. And then I will dry them off with tissue. So the next that you should do is um, set aside the affected plants. So, we are going back here in our greenhouse. So, originally, dito siya nakahang. Um, we will put him back here kasi wala naman ditong araw. But it is very important, guys, that you, if ever you do this solution, the hydrogen peroxide and the alcohol solution, wag niyo ulit ilalabas sa arawan yung um, yung plants kasi masusunog siya remember hydrogen peroxide can cause burns uh, matapang siya and also same goes with your alcohol so ito naman na mga na propagate natin or tinanggal natin I will just let them dry here one by one as you can see wala namang ibang plant na nandito sa area na to other than these tapiliads. So, kung may mag-survive pa na mealy bugs, um, then they will not thrive there. Um, ito na yung pinaka-maximum light na nakukuha nila dyan. Same goes here. So, hindi siya masyado maaarawan kahit sa afternoon. Um, I doubt if naubos ko yung mealy bugs. I am still seeing like remnants of them here and there. Um, kahit na I wash them thoroughly, nakita nyo naman kung gaano ko siya hinugasan and brinosh. But mealy bugs, like I said, some of them you can't see them. Um, especially the babies. So, what I'll do is that I'll monitor them after a few days. And let's see if they come back. This is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me in today's Succulent Rescue. If you have any tips about mealy bugs and other pests, Please do post a comment down below and if you like this video, please hit that like button, share button and also um, that subscribe 
button so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So thank you so much. Maraming maraming salamat po. And I'll see you again on my next video.